So what's going on dammers, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 36th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're going to take a look at how to update the Redux store and basically get the changes once we update that. So let's get started. Alright, so you know that to update the Redux store we need to dispatch some actions some like these which we had created earlier so let's see how we can basically dispatch this thing and um, see that if the subscription gets an update or not so let's just say i i am on this page and i hit login and once i'm successful i want to update this um, state right here so first of all let's just register with some admin one two three admin one two three admin one two three hit submit there we are now if i write admin one two three admin one two three there we go you have no code by admin one two three cool i just log out all right it looks good now what i want to do is actually update this thing so that we get the state dot user as admin one two three when i log in with that to do that what i need to do is basically just go to my login component here and see that what happens so um okay so let me just real quick plug my mac in first okay so what happens now is we get the user details and if data is successful then we um basically just redirect the user to that particular place so if we take a look at that again we see that we get this dot auth dot set logged in as true what i can do else with this is this dot user dot um not login user this user dot um uh, let's just say update state and i can just basically say um I can say something like action is or what I can say yep I can do that I can directly write the action here I can say action login here and we just updated that so what I can do is basically just write here private user user service and I can say um, I can create this update state stuff here. All right. Kind of find user service. Hmm, weird. If I try it one more time, there we go. So now uh, we just need to basically create this update state method inside this user service. Let's just create one real quick update state. What I'm going to do now is say this dot store dot select which is our store right now have reducer dot dispatch and right here what i'm going to do is since we are getting the action here um or are we we are getting the action in the form of an object so let's just do that only so now we have access to the action and i can basically just dispatch that action in the form of something like type is action and i could just add my payloads here if i want to but i guess our reducers are not really into handling the action dot payload or something like that right now so yeah that's basically it and what we can do now is basically when this thing runs what happens is um what we can do right here is actually just say one more thing login true and user i can say action dot payload right and here now we can make use of the payload thing here payload is or oh, we just need to get this thing here as an object check dot action and object dot payload just like that right and right here inside my login component i would pass the payload as my username so i'm gonna say i'm not sure from where i get that so let's just 
first of all see how we get admin one two three admin one two three summit take a look in the console login okay so we are getting just success through here but we, what we want to do actually is basically okay so we are getting the data here as well on the data call we can basically update this or actually we have access to the username anyway so we can do it right here only so there we are and it updates our state to the payload our payload to the username and finally our state contains that particular name of that user once that's fired what happens is that this thing is updated and our state.user gets updated so if we take a look here inside our app reducer our reducer is um, guest for now and if I basically just try to clear out my cookies here and reload this thing so what happens now is if I log in like admin one two three admin one two three hit submit you should see that our header automatically gets updated now this is a cool thing about redux you see that there was no communication whatsoever between the header component and the login component but still they were able to communicate with the single store now this is powerful and it keeps things organized as well now if you just want to um, basically update the state whenever the logout button is hit what we can do is basically simple now um, we can say something like user is null and login is already false so um, then we can dispatch this action of let's just say what we have in here okay so what we can do here is basically say when I hit logout button here this dot user dot um, what we have update state action is action logout and our payload is null basically so now if we just reload this you see that we have guessed right now because at the first load we are not checking if the user is logged in or not if I log out now, I log in admin123, 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 hit submit, I get hello admin123, I log out, I get guest. So you can see that basically it's very easy to communicate between the header component and other components and this is just a very basic example. Now to fix this thing, what we can do is basically just like earlier what we are doing here is that we are performing a check inside our auth service or inside our user service I don't really remember that I guess it's auth okay so I'm not really sure where we are checking whether the user is logged in or not so whatever way we wherever we are checking this what we can do is in that same place we can update this thing as well and our store would show the updated values so basically you can take that as an assignment the code of this tutorial up to this tutorial would be up on github so you can check the link in the description if you want to try this out and yeah that's all for this video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications